All right, we are here on an awesome Monday. We're all getting caffeinated. Right here before the Monday before All Hallows Eve. Don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe, hit the bell. We are actually just looking into something new. Um, well, I was probably supposed to teach it last time, but eh, didn't know exactly. Um, we're looking at quadratics in this form right here. Now, believe it or not, do not let this form scare you, okay? I don't really know the actual name of this form. We're just going to call it the... Uh, the QNP form, okay. Does that, does that sound okay with everybody? The you know the QNP. I don't know. Seriously, I I really don't know why they decide to put more letters in this stuff. Okay, it's like they literally spilled the alphabet. So we lock that back, please. That way we don't get invaded like we're Poland or something. Now, uh. <laughs> <laughs> now, a couple of things as a refresher. All right, we did, we have seen some of these max and mins before, except uh, now we're going to have it as it applies to a quadratic. Now, uh, just a remember a quadratic, uh, it looks like this. So when A is positive, this is when A is positive, it looks like this. Okay, so it's a smiley face. All right, the minimum is the vertex and the max is positive infinity. And when A is negative, it looks like this. It's a frowny face. Okay, the max is the vertex and the minimum is negative infinity. Okay, so... And, you know, this is high dollar quality information. This is stuff that's going to be on the test next week. Uh, this is stuff that you need to write down. Escribe, por favor, en sus papeles ahora. Okay. Yeah, you definitely don't know what that is because that was Spanish and you're not passing Spanish too. So, no bueno. All right. So, <laughs> now. <clears throat> this. Next thing, and, and again, it's always great about math. They want you to know things that are not only confusing, but invisible. Okay? Remember on the exponents test, we had stuff that was an asymptote. It was an invisible line that we never touch. We get close to it, but never touch. Now we have an axis of symmetry. And this is an invisible line that cuts it in half. We kind of had this with the... Uh, absolute values <clears throat> but it will literally cut it in half okay and make it equal on both sides so it's almost like we fold the paper in half did y'all ever do that thing um in uh elementary school that you know you take the piece of paper you fold it in half and then, and then you make the little heart. Yeah. Did y'all ever do that? No. Some of y'all, y'all never did? I mean, yeah. So that little line that you folded it, to cut it, that is your actual line of symmetry because it makes it symmetric, your axis of symmetry. Okay, so we're going to put that right there today. Okay, so now that's all our definitions. So let's actually use these. Now, FYI, BT dubs, TBH, IRL, uh, BRB, all that kind of good stuff. Twins, volume. Now, uh, this first example takes a while to do, okay? Because 
I want to go slow so hopefully nobody gets lost. Okay, I don't want y'all I don't want y'all to be like Artax in the swamp of sadness. Okay. Uh but it does get better. Okay. So example, find the X intercepts, AOS. So I did notice how I did say after axis of symmetry. After this, we're just going to say AOS. Is that okay? Okay, good. Well, it's going to happen, so y'all just got to be okay with it. Now, so first we're going to find the x-intercepts. Okay, it's the opposites of what's in the parentheses. Dang it, I missed. Let's try again. That was with my left hand, by the way. This probably isn't even, even any better. So we'll see till I talk again. All right, so. Ah, volume. Two inch voices. All right. Some of y'all are like, why can't he throw with his right arm? Because this is my lucky fan. This is the one that has is bad. All right. So this is the opposite. What is the opposite of plus one? Minus one. Okay. So we write that down. All right. It's the opposite of minus three. What's the opposite of minus three? Plus three. Okay. Now. Other, I've uh, watched videos on this and other times, people will actually make you like set this equal to zero and solve it. It's it's just the opposite. So let's do the easy thing, right? Okay, so our x-intercepts is x equal negative one comma three. All right. Now, the AOS, what number is in the middle of our x-intercepts? So somebody was really nice because they might have heard y'all complain, oh, I have to draw this box. Oh, eh. All you complainers. All right. So let's make a number line. And believe it or not, this is how a number line actually goes. All right. So, if we look, all right, so if I go one, two, here, one, here, all right, so one is actually in the middle of both of them, okay, all the things I saw said equidistant. If I said equidistant to y'all on any day, any given time during the day, if I said equidistant, y'all going to say, hmm, <laughs> hmm. Okay, if I said in the middle, y'all may actually understand. Okay, so so this is x equals 1. It's actually a vertical line, okay? Yes. I will, I'm going to make them all so it's not a decimal. Yeah, if it would be in between something, it would be a 0.5, but I'm going to try to make all of our problems where it's something like a whole number. Okay. All right. Now, vertex. We're going to plug our AOS value in for X to find the Y value. So everywhere we saw X in our original problem, we're going to plug in 1. All right, so now if I can actually get my screen to get a little bit bigger, I'm going to plug this in to my calculator. And plug it in like this. Okay. And see what I get. Up, oh, negative eight. So my y value 
is negative 8. So my vertex is 1, negative 8. All right. Ah, what was that? Now, our A value, well, our A value is right here. Okay. So our A, was the A value positive? So A was equal to 2. Was it positive? Yes. Okay, that means it looks like this. And as our definition said, if our A is positive, our max is infinity, and our minimum is the vertex. Dun -dun 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 and that's it. Okay, so that was probably about as clear as mud. Some of y'all are like, okay, I got this part, and then you lost me on that part. Right? Okay, yes. How did I get two? That was the only thing I thought about afterwards is I didn't have, like, First number is always A because if we go back to the very top of our uh, handout, you see right here how it says A. Okay. Ah! Y'all don't need to see all that. All right, so let's try this again. All right, so for for purposes that we just found, let's make sure that we write like A equals, all right, so our A value is right here. So what is our A value? Yeah, so we're going to write A equals negative 1 just off to the side right here, okay? Is that okay? Is everybody okay with that? Is anybody upset with that? If you are, you can just get over it, okay? All right, so, because it's happening. <clears throat> All right, our x-intercepts, it's the opposite of these things. So what's the opposite of negative 2? Okay, what's the opposite of negative 6? Positive 6. Now, I've got our number line out here, so we could go ahead and put these out here. 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Mr. Jeffers House of Math for calling number one of the day, and you're actually a guest host on my math lesson because I'm recording a lesson right now. All right. Thank you so much for calling. Call back anytime while I'm teaching a lesson. Hey, Cole, you're checking out. Boop. All right, so back to actually our lesson. All right, so we're finding the AOS. What number is exactly in the middle? Four. Four. All right, I could actually write my four. Bless you. Right here. All right. The reason why is because I'm going to have to plug it in. Everywhere I see X. 
to get my y value for my vertex. My, 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 my vertex. Now remember, this is a negative out front. So this is this button. This button, negative, not minus. So negative, print C, 4 minus 2. 4 minus 6. Uh-oh, uh-oh. We get a 4. That was not on purpose. All right. So our A was a negative, okay? That means our max is our vertex, and our min is negative infinity because it opens like this, okay? Yes. Yes. Nope. Yep, remember at the beginning when I said, hey, we're going to write down A is negative 1. We're going to do it out here. Y'all are like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's only our second problem. Okay. All right. All right, so that was this one. Are we ready to move on to the next one? Which means it's on the back. Yes, there's a back of these notes. I know some of you are like, oh, no. All right, so let's find our A value first. This is our A value. Let's write it down right here. Let's write it down by the max and min so we know what we have to deal with later, okay? Is that okay? What's happening? We'll argue about it later. All right. X-intercepts. It's the opposite of this right here. So what's the opposite of plus 5? Minus 5. What's the opposite of minus 5? Plus 5. Now, some people are going to say, wow, I really didn't need to see that on a number line. Some people needed to see that on a number line. It's very badly written on a number line. Well, I don't also write in 125 bubble font. All right. What number is exactly in between negative 5 and positive 5? Zero. Some of y'all are really used to knowing that number. Zero. So I can write it here. Y equals three plus five minus five. Plug in zero, zero. Wow. Negative seventy five. Well, that should kind of happen, right? Because the zeros go go away. We're going to have negative 5 times, ne times 5, which is negative 25, then times 3. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so, all right. So let's remember way back when, when we wrote our A all the way down here to remember. So is this A positive or negative? Positive. So it opens like this. That 
means our max is infinity. Our minimum is our vertex. Now is it starting to seem a little bit better? Okay, and what we'll do after we do this last one is I'll actually go on a graphing thing and show y'all. I didn't want to graph these today on paper because I knew we would have some very weird um, uh, vertexes and things of that nature because I was just picking out numbers. Okay. Okay, I was just picking out numbers. Okay, just trying to, just trying to, you know, get through the day. Okay, it's not like y'all have ever just tried to get through the day, right? All right, I had one head shake. Awesome. Everybody else is like that would take effort and energy. All right. So number three, all right, here's our A, so let's write it down here, all right, our X intercepts is the opposite of these right here, so what is the opposite of plus three, and what's the opposite of minus five? All right, so negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Aha! What's in the middle? 1 is the loneliest number that we'll ever do. <laughs> 2 can be as sad as 1, but for this problem we have number 1. All right, so we're plugging in. Told y'all these go faster after that first example. We still don't believe you. You're full of stuff. All right, wow. 32. <clears throat> So glad we are not graphing these on paper. Because all the grids I would put on here, y'all would be like, my points do not fit on my grid. I'm like, I don't care. <clears throat> Sorry. What? Oh, oh, so that's what you get for going ahead. I'm on number three. Y'all can just hold tight till I get there at number four. Y'all y'all do do that? Don't be doo-dooing in my class now. I'm Y'all got to clean that up. That's crappy. All right, so our A is negative, so it opens like this. I saw somebody with the poop emoji hat and angel wings. They walk, They were holy crap last night. Now, so our max is our vertex. And our min is negative infinity. Nobody else thought the holy crap was pretty. I thought it was hilarious. Maybe it's a dad joke. Hey, Nola. 
Why didn't a zombie feel like going to school? It felt rotten. <laughs> See, the twins get it. Don't you? All right. So that's number three. All right, hmm, number four. All right, so if we're finding our A, oh, this is going to be fun. What is the number that's right here? It's one. It's not zero. Y'all are the, I don't know what it is about y'all's class. Both this class and third block, y'all y'all put numbers where they're not supposed to be. All right. So, all right, so the opposite of plus six is, the opposite of plus one is, all right, so negative six, negative five, negative four, negative three, negative two, negative one. All right, so, mm hmm, mm hmm, aha! Negative three, sir. AOS. Well, I start here at negative six. I went one, two. I'm at here at negative. Oh, my bad. Oh, you're right. It would be a point five. My bad, Christian. Or Tristan. So it is. It's a negative 3.5. We actually have a decimal. Hooray for decimals. I still can't write it correctly. All right, so when I'm plugging this in, I thought I had this one counted out right. My bad. All right. It's hard to be an awesome number. I can't wait. Whoops. Dad gummit. All right, so did y'all get? Negative 6.25. All right. Now, our A is positive. That means it opens like this. That means our max is infinity. <clears throat> our min is negative 3.5, negative 6.25.
All right, so let's use this first one, our very first example. <clears throat> so y equals 2x plus 1, x minus 3. All right. By the way, cool thing about Desmos now, uh, y'all had a Desmos graphing calculator on your uh, pre-SAT. Not the one that y'all had last week, but the one a couple weeks ago, like that first time. Uh, you can actually, like, type in a, a linear in standard form, and it will graph it for you. You don't have to solve it for y-intercept form. Uh, it's kind of nice. All right, so y equals 2, parenthesis, x plus 1, x minus 3. All right, so, so there's our x-intercept of x minus 1. There's our other x-intercept of positive 3. Okay, there's our vertex of 1, negative 8, okay? Y'all see how, like, I can zoom out some more. All right, it's going to keep going up forever to positive infinity. All right, and, whoops. If we look right here at x equals 1, it actually divides it. Hang on. All right, right here at x equals 1, this blue line. Let me see. Can I change that color? Nope. All right. It actually divides it in half. That's our axis of symmetry for those that need it um, for the three people that's actually looking at the board right now. Okay. So that's actually what we have been doing without y'all having to graph it on paper. Um, so just a little FYI, BT dubs. All right. So, don't forget, hit like, hit subscribe, hit the bell. Good stuff, good things. Roll tight.